Hi guys, this is Victor and welcome to my DIY time channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to manually close broken sunroof. So on this 2005 Scion TC, this sunroof got stuck open and it would make a lot of weird grinding noises when trying to close it. We were able to manually pull back the sunroof and close it halfway, but the back part was still open and we couldn't push it down to close it. We tried to press the button again and it closed the sunroof on one side only and kept making the same grinding noise. To fix the problem we decided to remove the headliner and take a look inside the sunroof assembly. We used the trim removal tool to take out the dome light assembly and this plastic piece just fell out of there. And we knew right there that that was not a good sign at all. You can disconnect the dome light assembly and get it out of the way. Next we removed sun visors on each side and they are held in place by two Phillips screws. Twist the sun visor hooks counterclockwise and pull them out. Next we're gonna need to use a couple hooks to be able to remove the grab handle on the ceiling of the car. We are gonna need to insert the hooks into the small holes on each side and the plastic cover should come right off. After removing both plastic covers, depress two metal retaining clips and then deattach the grab handle. Next we're gonna deattach the front pillar cover, just the top part, we don't have to take out the whole thing. Next we're gonna pull down the front part of the headliner. You don't have to take out the whole thing, just enough to get access to the sunroof motor assembly. And here's what we found inside. The belt came out of the track and it was sticking out in some places and in other places it was all chewed up and deformed. This explains the grinding noise when we were trying to close the sunroof. Next we used a 10mm socket to remove 5 bolts holding the motor and belt assembly. These are the locations of the bolts you need to take out. After we took out the motor and the belt tracks, we noticed that the belt itself was ripped and that's what caused it to start jamming. We're not gonna worry about replacing this belt right now because we don't have the necessary parts on hand and instead we're just gonna try to close the sunroof to be able to drive the car in the rain. And to do that we just needed to pull on the belt on the passenger side of the car and sure enough the sunroof got closed without much problems at all. If necessary you can do the same thing on the driver's side just pull on the belt until the sunroof is completely closed. After we were finished, we just reassembled everything back in the reverse order and we decided to replace the belt sometime later. I hope this video is helpful for someone and if it's you, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel to see more DIY car repair videos like this. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.